So Richard, you'd like to add some heat to the garage, and sure. you've got a couple options. Yeah, thought about all kinds of ways to do it. We could, it could have been a blower unit up in the corner. Now we have a heating boiler, could have run hot water through it. Right. Could have been gas, because we have gas, or electric. A lot of people use electric blowers in a garage like this. Mm -hmm. We could have done baseboard around the corner. But we are pouring a concrete floor here. It's a perfect candidate for radiant. You know, yeah. it just loves it. Concrete, we can put just mild temperature water in there and heat this place perfectly. But we want to keep the heat inside the building. So we've got insulation here to eliminate the heat from going this way. We also have to think about it under our feet. Right, because we don't want it going right into the ground. Right. So historically, we always did it this way. You'd put a vapor barrier down to make sure no moisture came up, then insulation either one inch or two inch insulation thick, but then it was always this mesh, the wire mesh, and you have to get down your hands and knees and do these zip ties, and that was labor intensive. It would be probably about five or six hundred of these things in this size space. Right. So this is a unit, we've shown a version of it before, this is insulation, vapor barrier, and a holding system for the tubing all in one. So all those steps right here right. in this panel. And it just there, it's a two foot by four foot panel. It just snaps together yep. and, uh, and we snap the tubing in. All right, where do you want to start? So let's get started. You take that one. Let's start in the corner over by the manifold. To start the new course, we cut one in half so that we don't have the seams all lining up. Let's go next one. Thank you, sir. Nice to have extra sets of hands on you know, the job site, right? It really is. You know, we've all loved being, being part of this Generation Next thing. You know, you just saw Roger talking at the Votex School. Alex and Zach have been with Byler for like six months, mm. but they actually came from the local Votex School too. Yeah. It's great to have them. Boy, it goes in fast. Hey, sweet. So the tubing we're using is a super plastic called PAX. We've used it before, you know, we've used it from underneath the floor last year. We've used it everywhere we can, anywhere yeah, we can. Bathrooms, kitchens. Absolutely. So, and this is just a perfect application in concrete. It's a plastic that won't get brittle over time. It doesn't kink readily too. So same stuff that we put down in the bathrooms That's and right. kitchens? That's right. You want something you can trust in the floor. So the grid system comes in each three inches between each one of these roses where the tubing is going to snap in. Yeah. So we could make the tubing be what? Three inches on part, you wouldn't do that. Six inches, nine inches. We're going to use 12 inches on center. So up and back on 12 inches. Here we go, boys. So we're going to have about a four inch slab right to about here. And I really love seeing the sheathing or these bends to protect the tubing when it enters the slab. We come up into the manifold and we're good to go. So that means pouring concrete. Right, it's actually the best part of the job. I hate to cover it, but it's the best part of the job. The next step is always satisfying to watch. Mark McCullough and his crew come in and lay down a wire mesh over the radiant system. That'll give the concrete some additional strength. And the truck pours about four inches of concrete. Mark's crew works quickly to make sure the pour is consistent. The crew smooths it out, and now we have a heated floor in the garage. Thanks for watching. This old house has got a video for just about every home improvement project, so be sure to check out the others. And if you like what you see, click on the subscribe button. Make sure that you get our newest videos right in your feed.